Ruby here. Welcome to the channel. Um, it's looking a little bit different from where we left off. But I tell you what is different. Look at this. Found this research station. There's dead people now. These were empty, these beds were. There's dead people in here. There has been an update and it's amazing. You can now get feathers from nests. Super, super cool. Um, and it doesn't seem to have affected the gameplay. And actually, in the hour that I played, I learned a lot lot guys so let me come into here and i'll just show you what i've got obviously i've got my eggs i managed to craft another uh, well craft a biden somebody reminded me that we can get um spruce from harvesting trees and we've crafted up a couple of sap dressing bandages we managed to find some sap crafted up a load of arrows found some more rifle bullets um, killed a couple of rabbits. Learned that if you harvest a bone, it gives you bone hooks ready for fishing. And uh, what we're going to do is we did find, we came, we tracked back to the snowmobile. It's, it's kind of triggered us to now go and find the fuel for the snowmobile. And so I did a little bit of a Google on uh, Michelangelo's um, playthrough of this game to double check because he, 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 he said he found the the fuel location and it can be quite right it was at the logging camp so i didn't want to be aimlessly wandering around the woods that's no fun for anybody so i did do a little bit of a google and by default i also found out where the uh, fuel blister is so that's the next thing we are going to start by trekking back over towards our camp over here oh no that's up that's there what's that cabin that i found i found a little cabin it's very sweet, very nice. We had a little bit of a snooze there. But yeah, we're going to go to the weather station. That's where we're going to be kind of calling our default camp. I'm going to craft up. I think I'm going to start drying some pelts. Let's start to have a bit of a wonder over there. So if we follow this road, we're going to go past the um, snowmobile and then we're going to end up at the weather station. So let's uh, take a little bit of a trip, guys. I'm going to see you when we walk past the weather. The, uh, the snowmobile. Okay guys, here's the snowmobile. Now we just need to get the petrol. Oh. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I love it. So let's crack on. My, I'm gonna keep on running and uh, we'll see you over at the work station next. Okay, folks, guys, we finally made it back to the weather station. I'm gonna just Set myself up a fire, get myself warm, get myself rested. And then we're going to push on and we're going to go back to the um, hunting lodge. But let's just pop in here. There are a couple of other things that I'd like to get done. Um, namely, I would really, really, really like to craft myself up um, something for drying pelt. So let me grab a load of sticks. I think I need 12 in total. And we haven't had the cold set in and we're not really shitty on stamina, so I'm going to get that done before I, I craft up my, um, my fire. I think I did actually kill two rabbits yesterday, but if it, I'm not seeing the second pelt. I'm wondering whether my inventory was full because it did have limited inventory space so let's uh let's come in here yeah this is as good a place as any so let's come into crafting crafty 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 so here rope holders help curing rat right? Oh, we need full rope. We have full rope. Nope, we need more rope. So just come out and get a more sticks for the fire and I'm going to get some rope and then yep. Hooking it with gas and curing with... I don't know what we're curing with, but it sounds like fun. Do you know, I just like, 
the survivalist in me, especially the zombie survivalist in me, wishes you could close these. <laughs> if the world's coming to the end, you you want to be able to close your gate. My hands are busy. Right, let's pop that. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Still got six sticks. So let me start by crafting up a fire. Shut this fucker up. I really should do maybe like a campfire. I don't know, but I haven't got enough rocks. Put that on there. No, we can't. Okay, so I made myself a hand drill. We've got plenty of tinder in the way of bird's nests. Come on. Come on. We may as well make use of the fire, cook us up some water. And I got some meat in here that we could eat. There we are. And let's craft rope. There we are. Yeah, let's use it. We've got two slots. One for rabbit. And then where's the other stuff? We've got some deer here. Put the deer pelt on here. Oh! Let's press Q. Infection risk. I don't know. That seems to be going down. It's a risk. It's not an infection. So I don't see the point in using a bandage. That's just my opinion. Got a bit of a sleep. We really should take that dead body out. <laughs> not that you can, but we should. Look at that! How cool is that? Graphics look a bit funky. They're like a bit shimmery. We've got another pelt that needs drying. We got anything that we could throw away here, or throw down here, rather. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll chuck the wood. What's there? We're gonna chuck the spruce bark. We don't particularly need matches. It's bloody snow. It's cold outside. Um, <clears throat> Do you know what then? Let me go out and get some more roots. So I think in total we need eight. That's one rope. Two rope. So cold. Let's get ourselves inside. There we go. Alright, let's do another pelt curing thing. Let's pop this one over here. And that didn't last long. That's good. Craft up that rope. And pop the pelt on. Oh, this is so good. I do love it when a plan comes together. Right, wait, why is for 29? Pop the spruce bark down there. About the stones. Don't want to destroy them. I don't know if we can. Let's just pick up one. Take one with us. And that's good. We've got the pelt curing. We've got our pelting racks up. I'm very happy, guys. Very happy indeed. So now we need to crack on. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna come over to the logging camp. Right, so, infection. Reduces condition over time and causes fever. So I have an infection risk, but I do have... I suppose I've got two bandages. Let me press Q. I've got two sap bandages. So if I then... Let's try one. And we'll see what that does. Infection! I can't tell you how happy that makes me. 
I press in Q, there's no, that's, the affliction is, is cured. The risk is cured. Oh, that's brilliant. So happy. Let's grab more rope to show how happy we are. We, we've got check on my friends there, but we're all right. Let me press them up, see if I'm going in the right direction. I think so. I did see in my little crafting book. Oh, no, there it is. Right, because we're going to make snare traps. I think I'm going to place a few of these strategically around my base when we get back and see if we can't catch a few rabbits. Somebody gave me a huge tip and they're like, when the temperature really starts to drop. Now we're on day five. If I press escape, you can say resourceful day five. Distance travelled, affliction treated, animals hunted, items crafted. Great. But the, but the temperature does continue to drop. And they've said you really got to want to to have those clothes, um, like the rabbit pelt stuff and I'm assuming the deer hide stuff, by the time that that shit starts happening. So I think we need to be proactive about this. If we're going to survive and escape. Okay, here we are at the logging camp. Do you know, I'm just thinking to myself, I really love this game and like, I learned so fucking much. Um, what's that? It's like a sawmill or something. I have learned so much and I'm learning so much and you guys have been great with tips and like just yesterday, I really learned, yes, yeah, see there's the fuel. I really learned a load of stuff. Um, just through playing for an hour and uh, that was brilliant. Once I've done this, I definitely will play this through again. Give me back my arrow. I'm here running water as well. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Oh, she's stuck. What's happened to all my arrows? I had loads of arrows. Come back with my arrows. All my arrows. That was only five. Huh? In loads of arrows. Apparently not as many as I thought. Let's go with the knife. I don't know if this, this gives us more. This will keep me fed for a while. But it certainly gives us pelt. Okay, let's get rid of some of these bones. And pick that up. Inventory full, is it? Oh, you prick. Up there. Yeah, we are a little overweight, so... Three pieces of venison there. Let's chuck that down there. But right now we need to get inside. We're going to go and check out that fuel. And then we're going to just go in and we're going to have a little fire. We're going to pop a pop venison. We're going to make sure that we're all tucked up on liquids and, and all that jazz. We are getting pretty tired. We need to sleep. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. What's in here? Some soda. Oh, I can't pick it up. I'll tell you what we can do. Let's consume that, open that spot up. Oh, bless. Oh, shush, 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 shush. Awesome. There's still fuel in here. Oh, but how will I carry it back? Okay, we're going to go down to that sawmill. <coughs> Why is he coughing? <sighs> ah, Tinder. <sighs> Leader. Oh. Oh. Cook that venison up. That's a low venison. <coughs> oh, what is up with him? Sounds like he might need antibiotics. He's a coffin. Okay. Let's go. You. He's got the flu and the fever. Flu 
causes fever if untreated it might transform into pneumonia naturally fought off by the body over time sleeping speeds the healing process consuming an item with antiviral properties fusion of pine cones well, okay we could do that uh which is energy of time anti anti-inflammatory antipyretic a bit too raw it's fine Bubba. so let's have a look we've got anti-inflammatory antibiotic pine cones all right antipyretics normal mushrooms antibiotic chaga mushrooms okay so just pine cones then that we've got on us so mm, smells good it does, doesn't it, Bubba? Right. It's up there. Did we drop the pine cones? No, we didn't. Oh. Oh. Well, let's uh, melt some snow first. Oh, dear. <gasps> Chaga mushrooms! Okay. So let's start then with the chaga mushrooms because the pine cones they don't seem to go off. And then what we pine cones, where's the pine cones? <coughs> oh shush. <coughs> May as well cook the egg up. So you have a lovely stash of eggs. I think what I want to do is see what we can drop off here. So we've got the space to carry a fuel canister. That's probably going to be a thing we need to focus on. Let's get to sleep. Oh, the shitty bathroom. Let's shut that door. <laughs> oh my god. So. Let me go out, look for oh shenanigans. Let me look for some more rope. And we're gonna dry the pelt while we're out and about. Then we can pick it up. Well shit, I can't see fuck all around here. And there's some more rope. One, two. Can't go out. I'm not gonna look for the fuel canister in this shitty weather. So I'm coming back inside. Still plenty in there. Um, and, ooh, where'd we, yeah, let's come here, craft up, rope holder, help curing rope. Let's, yeah, let's pop this in front of the shitty bathroom. If we rotate, we can. Bad weather past. Great stuff. I miss it. Oh, yeah, of course, there's a rope in here that we're going to use. Perfect. And bung that on there. That makes us a little bit lighter. And then we're going to just decide what we want to leave behind. So it's relatively nice. We're nice and warm. Put all that wood in there. Right, so I think the river's there. And we're gonna go for this old sawmilly type thing, I think. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Our stamina's not doing really well. Our flu is cured, our fever is curing. But, um, yeah, we, we do seem to just blitz through the old stamina a little bit quicker. I really, really want to kill the deer, but I also know that we're going to need space. People have told me we're going to need inventory space. I probably haven't even got enough in inventory space 
for the canister itself. But I'm just going to abstain for now. So pretty. Oh, look. Clouds. Oh my god, the sun even moves, guys. And do you know what, guys? Once we get here, we're going to have to hike all the way back to the logging camp, fill up with fuel, and then all the way back to the weather station, and then fucking all the way back to that bloody snowmobile. This game makes you work for it. Alrighty. So sawmill here. Let's check the sawmill out. There's also a tractor sign. That might be somewhere to get fuel canister. Um, but I definitely know there's a fuel canister in this building. Right, before I get too tired, I'm going to make myself up a fire. Let's just come in here, clip fire, craft a fire. I'm such a litter bug. Marvellous. Nice and warm. Right, let's have a bit of a scout round here, see if there's anything, because I, I genuinely don't know. So we've got scrap metal, furniture, hatchet required. The stuff can break down here. More scrap metal, more stuff here. Cut that. Door's been, uh, I thought it was taken off its hinges, but apparently not. Can't open these. Put that in here. Ooh. More hatchet stuff. More scrap metal. Ooh, can we open those? Some uh, work pants we can swap out. Hells yeah. Oh, they're not. But those are definitely better. Those are better knit, but not as warm. Not happening. What a view. Oh, now that is clever. That glass is done nicely. It's very pretty. Oh! Mappies! <gasps> the Barapato. Oh, oh, this is where we are, guys. This is where we are. Oh, I didn't know we found this here. There's another level upstairs by the... It's, oh, na new map entry? Wood factory. Oh, this is where we are. The wood factory. Ha! Who'd have thunk it? Okay, this seems to be all we can get from here. So let's go up onto the next level. Ooh, oh, we can go on the roof. Lots of snow up here, guys. Not much of anything else. You do anything with this? No. So let me just uh, press V. So I thought it might pick up on some kind of building or something but like some kind of scouting point it's not locking on to anything i'm really fucking tired Run down the stairs and across the hall. lots of stuff we can come and salvage scrap metal's nice lovely big open space now this is the bit we haven't checked, guys, and I happen to know. And Zephyr Magic. Thank you, Michelangelo. We picked this up and we got enough. This should do. Now back space. to that fuel pump. Yes, we have. Right, I am going to go to sleep, guys. Then I'm going to go back to the fuel pump. Um, definitely going to leave it here. But in uh, the next episode, we'll pick up at the fuel pump. Then we'll cut to the snowmobile. And then we'll be able to come and, and gather up all our stuff and, and crack on with the storyline. But I'm really, really happy with uh, the progress we've made. I feel like I've redeemed myself after not quite... Uh, I've got the video, but I haven't got the sound from the last one, which is it's typical me. 
And as you can see, my stamina sucks. Salty balls. So I'm going to get a bit of a sleep. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have liked the video, like the video. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel if you like it. Pop a comment in the comment section. And until next time, stay safe and take care.